This morning we've been looking at a concept that some people find quite tricky, and that is multiplying and dividing numbers by 10 or 100. So Jess, if I give you one of these ones counters, there you go, and say to you, um, what would happen if you multiplied that counter by 10? It would become into a tens counter. Exactly that, because when you multiply by 10, you have 10 lots of them. So if I had 10 ones counters, it would turn into a tens counter. What if I had, there you go, take three more. What if you had four ones counters and you multiplied them by 10? I would turn them into four tens counters. Good, so four multiplied by 10 is 40, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just added a zero, yeah? Mm -hmm. Does that always work? No. No, we should never go with that rule because it's different when it comes to what sort of numbers? Decimal numbers. Decimal numbers. Right, pop those red ones back then. Let's see if we can talk people what happens when there is a decimal number. So what number have we made there in front of you? 32.4. Okay, let's multiply this by 10 and show people what happens to the different digits. Away you go. So, the um, tens we would multiply it by 10, so it would turn into a hundred. Good, so each tens counter becomes a hundreds counter. Excellent. Then the ones counters, we would multiply them so that they become tens counters. Every ones counter becomes a tens counter, right? And then with the tens, um, we would multiply them so that they become the ones. Counters. Very good. So every pile has just gone up in value, really, hasn't it, by one place. So what's the answer then? 324. Right, stage two. You ready for some division? Mm -hmm. Okay, this time we're going to go ultra tricky. I want to divide that number by 100. So start with the ones. What happens to a ones counter when you divide it by 100? So if we were dividing them by 10, it would just become a 10. But we're dividing it by 100, so we would divide it in extra one, so it is a 100. So it goes down to the hundreds, right? Do you want to swap those then? Exchange them up? So four ones counters becomes four hundreds counters. Now we'll deal with the tens. Same with the tens. If we were just dividing it by 10, it would become a one, but we're not, so it would become tens. Very good. And then hundreds. What's each hundreds counter going to become? Ones counter. Yeah, because 100 divided by uh, 100 is 1, isn't it? So do you want to swap those counters up? Mm -hmm. So those 300 counters become 3 ones counters. And the answer is? 3.24. 3.24. Right, one final one. Should we get rid of the counters this time? So move those counters away. And move the cards for me. So I'm going to give you a new number this time. We're going to go for uh, 85 point. You can straighten these up. 85.9. We're using our stat checker there as our decimal point. Uh, right, no counters this time, Jess. And I want you to multiply this number by 100. So what's going to happen to that eight? Those uh, eight tens at the moment. We did when we were dividing it with the counters. If we were dividing it by multiplying oh, it by ten, yep, <laughs> multiplying it, and um, it would just be one hundred. But we're doing it by a hundred, so good. that would turn into a thousand. Fantastic. Same with um the ones. If we were multiplying it by ten, it would just be. 10 into a tens, but we're not, so it will turn into a hundred. Good girl. And what about those tens? And with the tens, the same thing, so it turns into a ten. Good. Now, are we quite finished there? No. Why not? Because if we didn't have, like, the head cards, yep. um, it would just look like 859. So what is it important we do? Put a zero here. Come on then, can you reach and grab that? So we pop that in, and the answer becomes... 8,590. Fantastic work, Jess. Well done. We'll leave it there for today, but we'll just leave people with one little reminder. What should you not do when you multiply by 10? Never just add a zero. Because it sometimes doesn't work. Good. Well done.